Ivy Hilliard today. He is the senior pastor of New Light Christian Center in Houston, Texas, and a daily programmer right here on Daystar. So I want to encourage you to get your Bibles, get your pen and paper, get ready to take some notes, and let's welcome to the pulpit of the Daystar Television Network, Bishop I.V. Hilliard. Well, praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. In your Bibles on uh, Psalms uh, 34 and verse 19, it says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. For just a few moments, just want to talk about how to handle painful situations. How to handle painful situations. I know that many of you who are watching today are going through some painful situations. The Bible says even the righteous are not exempt from pain. And so we understand pain is just a part of the human existence. So since pain is a part of the human existence, this lesson, this exhortation to you today is vitally important. The Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers us out of them all. So therefore, there is hope for you in your painful situation. First of all, let's deal with the reality of pain. We don't have to go far to talk about the reality of pain. Turn on the television set and you see where there is devastation, where there is destruction, where there is disease, where there is disappointment, pain accompanies all of those things. You see people who've gone through situations, the floods, the earthquakes, diseases, and that sort of thing, so we understand the reality of pain is real. Not only is there the reality of pain, but the question comes, is there a, re is there a response? What is, should be my response to pain? And then we'll get to the remedy for pain. What is my response to pain? Since I cannot eliminate pain from my life, pain is inescapable. Since I cannot get away from pain, I need to do everything I can to prepare for pain. Well, what can I do to prepare for painful situations? Well, I got to understand that the Bible lets me know that, listen, I may not be able to prevent the pain, but my response to pain is under my control. So Jesus says, let not your heart be troubled. So that means I have something to do with how I respond to the pain in my life. And then David says, yea, though I walk through the valley. In other words, I can make a decision that I am going to get through whatever painful situation that I'm facing because I've got a choice. Number one, I can curse the pain. Number two, I can nurse the pain. Number three, I can rehearse the pain. Or number four, I can choose to reverse the pain. If I curse the pain, it will cause me to become bitter. If I nurse the pain, it will cause me to become a blamer, and I blame this one and that one. And you've seen people who never get, a pass, never get past situations in their lives, and they become blamers. Or if I rehearse the pain, then I allow the pain to continue to batter me and to, 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 to bruise me. But I've got to make the decision that I'm going to reverse the pain. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You can do something about the pain because... That is why God has written this Bible and given it to us, because here is something we can do. There are things that we can do. I'm going to tell you in just a moment. And you're going to be able to leave this moment understanding how to get past your pain. One of the pains that is so difficult to get past is the emotional pain. Even after bruises have healed and even after time has gone, there is that emotional pain. Well, the blood of Jesus is able to help you in any type of emotional pain that you're going through. The Bible says there in Hebrews 9 and 14 how the blood of Jesus can purge us from dead works, purge our conscience. That means God says, I can take his blood. Isn't it wonderful that he did not wait until medical science come up with a cure uh, or for, you know, for psychology or anything like that. But I can take the blood of Jesus and confess it over my situation, and it will eradicate the emotional pain in my life. So now, Pastor, what about the remedy for my pain? Here's the remedy for your pain. You can make it, number one, through the power of your focus. Power of my focus. If you focus on the painful situation, you'll never make it through. But if you focus on the greater one, that God is greater and bigger than any pain you will ever go through. So number one, you'll make it through your pain through the power of your focus. Number two, you're going to make it through your painful situation because of the promise of the Father. Jesus says 
That, and, 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 and the Bible says, and Jesus told the disciples he would be with us. And so the Bible says he will never leave us and will never forsake us. Your pain may have taken you by surprise, but it did not take him by surprise. He's with you in the midst of your painful situation. So number one, you're going to make it through this painful situation. Yes, you are, my brothers and my sisters. You are not watching this program by accident. The power of your focus. We're going to focus on God who is able to carry us through our pain. Number two, you're going to make it because of the promise of the Father. He promised that he would be with us in the midst of our pain. Number three, you're going to make it through your painful situation because that's the purpose of your faith. Well, some believe all we have faith for is for cash and clothes and cars and cribs, but we have faith for Christ's situation. The Bible says, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. And then finally... You're going to make it through your painful situation. You're going to make it through your painful situation because of the prayers of the faithful. And that's where I'm going to rest my case. The Bible says, the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous availeth much. You don't have to face your situation alone. You don't have to go through your painful situation by yourself. Because that is why this ministry exists. This ministry exists with a core group of believers who will be praying for you and who will help you through your painful situation. And at this time, we're going to ask uh, Marcus to join us as we wrap this thing up. And I want you to go to your phone. And I want you to continue to make those calls because you don't have to p face your painful situation alone. That's why we're here, to help you overcome your pain. Bishop Ivy Hilliard, I love that. Amen, amen. So with your pain, you can curse it, you can nurse it, you can rehearse it, or you can reverse, reverse it. it. I choose the latter. Amen. We need to reverse that pain, reverse the curse that Satan has brought against us. And I want to continue to uh, give you the opportunity to call today if there's a need in your life. Hundreds of people have called. Amen. There are many needs out there. And you're going through pain. The thing about it is, we have a high priest who can be touched Amen. with the feelings of our infirmities. He is acquainted with pain. He yes. knows what that's like. Yes. And so he can relate to you today. Call that number or go to daystar.com and click on prayer if uh, you, you need God to touch you. One more time, tell everybody, give them invitation to the Strategies Conference. I want you to come to the Strategies Conference. Uh, the evening services are open to everybody uh, uh, October the, uh, the 10th through the 14th at the New Light at our East Campus. I want you to be there. I look forward to seeing you and shaking your hand. Okay, and that is the former Lakewood Church facility. It'll help you maybe to locate it where it is. Right. And uh, you'll be blessed to be a part of that. Bishop Ivy Hilliard, would you lead us in prayer as we close this broadcast today? Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to just yes, thank you oh God. for thank your you, power Father. and for your protection and for your provisions. And God, I thank you that you're acquainted with our pain. Yes. Now, Lord, Father, your word declares in Jesus' name that your Heal blood them, Lord, is well sufficient Father, and your grace pain, is sufficient. The mental, the physical, for, for those who have called in today, Father, we pray and pain. we thank you for the greater ones who Do can minister to their Lord. pain. And so in the name of Jesus, we curse sickness and yes, we curse oh disease yes, in Jesus' oh name. And we thank, thank you, Father, you, right Lord. now. Hallelujah. We speak health and wholeness Wonderful. and healing.